When you think martial arts, you think about respect, discipline, strength, and most likely fighting. However, the Eye of the Eagle gym in Western Sydney is taking a healthy alternative to this ancient art. Master Bill Azizi's approach has been an attempt to heal the community, starting with its most vulnerable members, the sick and elderly. For approximately three years, Bill has been meeting Margaret Amberg, who has cerebral palsy. Since seeking help from Bill, Margaret has had several health benefits she hadn't been receiving from more traditional physiotherapy. My range of movement would have to be about double from where we started. I might, we might have started off with pulling my arms out to about here. Now, as you can see, they're all the way out here. Alongside the massaging and stretching, Bill has been getting Margaret to try and do boxing and Tai Chi. However, it has not just been the physical improvements that have been of value in Margaret's life. One of the things, apart from the physical benefit, is that it's opened new opportunities out to me. It's something that I really never thought I'd be doing. Um, it's given me another social outlet as well. Cerebral palsy is a debilitating physical disease affecting movement. It can also produce several other impairments that can affect speech, hearing and intellect. Although a little unorthodox, Master Bill prefers to teach his students about using their skills for more than just fighting. In the martial art world, you need to help people who need help. That's what I'm doing now. It's not about fighting, it's about helping the weak and helping the one who needs help the most. With about 33,000 people in Australia dealing with cerebral palsy, people like Bill are offering an alternative to traditional physiotherapy. By combining the therapeutic and physical benefits of martial arts, Margaret is receiving increased strength, coordination and most importantly confidence, improving Margaret's quality of life. Andrew McMurtry. UWS News.